Hello and uh, welcome then to the video for this Seiko Kinetic. This is a 5M22 and it's the 38mm case and it's a delightful little piece this. I've taken it apart because I've cleaned it and uh, will be fitting a new capacitor to it shortly. Um, let's see if we can get uh, a little bit better picture. The case is, let's magnify this somewhat so we can get a, uh, some more information for you. So water resistant, metal bezel, steel, stainless steel case Seiko, and it's a 7A80 case. I should write that down actually. 7A80. Uh, I've got the camera out, so I thought we'd um, rattle through a few watch videos this morning. Um, so that's a screw back case and in pretty nice order. Uh, these capacitors fail, they normally last about seven years. This particular watch uh, is in need of a capacitor. It um, has the power reserve button, so when this um, watch has a new capacitor, the second hand, which is extremely thin, and will uh, you press the power reserve button here, top right, and let's say it's at 12 o'clock, it will spin around to 12 th uh, to 6 o'clock to show a full power reserve. And that means you can set the, the watch aside for around about uh, up to six months before it will stop. So it's a belt and braces approach to um, a quartz movement. So you have a rotor inside, now some do come with an exhibition case. I've got uh, other ones which have got exhibition cases. Quite nice to see the movement, but you shake it and there's a rotor inside, just like an automatic watch, which spins, turns a generator, which in char uh, produces electric current, charges the battery. And the battery is called a capacitor. It's not like your standard battery. You can't put a ordinary watch battery in these. It has to be the capacitor. They're quite expensive and it's a fiddly job to get into uh, the area where the capacitor needs to, uh, it lives and uh, replace it but um, once it's done you should get about seven years out of it uh, so you, your watch gets that nice weighty feel you get that spinning of the rotor feel on your wrist and uh, it has the benefit unlike an automatic which is generally about sort of 48 hours power reserve before it uh, stops you can just set it aside and pick it up weeks later and it's still in the right time uh, which is nice so uh, let's talk you around this watch it's quite a delightful piece actually being small it suits a smaller wrist beautifully um, we can see a dial there which is in a sort of silver grey colour uh, which is sort of textured and changes in the light uh, applied hour markers very nice hands as well. The date window is framed and in colour. You can see minor marks and scratches to the actual gold plated. Um, I wouldn't have thought there's any gold in this, but uh, it's gold colour that we shall refer to it. Gold plate and gold pusher and crown. It's not screw down crown. Crown's rather small. It uh, is for the smaller person this or just like a smaller watch some watches are far too chunky these days but that is a nice piece it has a few marks but uh, overall a nice piece so I think I've explained that as best as I can at the moment Crystal is mineral, but I think that's um, hardly showing any marks. Always a dodgy thing to do macro with watches because it just shows everything that you cannot see. Here's the bracelet. I've taken it apart, as I said, for cleaning. It's had a wash and it's rolled links, but it's in nice 
condition with that gold on those beads of rice. The clasp, just a standard uh, stainless steel, five mi four micro adjust. Few minor marks. Pressed Seiko. Um, and hollow end links, I'll just show you one, they're both the same. So that runs up to uh, the head of the watch. The uh, watch in terms of uh, wrist size, I can't remember what I put, 17 and a half centimeters on the bracelet. Uh, so if your wrist is bigger than 17 and a half centimeters, the uh, bracelet will have to be changed or uh, obtain some spare links, which you'll have a hell of a job to do. And there is a little presentation box with it. Let's uh, just show you that. It's not the original box. There's no papers, but you can download the Seiko uh, instruction PDF for a fi uh, 5M22 uh, mechanism and just to read about how it works uh, on Seiko's website. So it's um, dead easy to find. There's not a lot to it really, just setting the time and the uh, uh, ver various information about the kinetic uh, movement. Uh, I like that, that is nice. That's a pretty good order. I'd give that a good, if you're fussy, seven and a half out of 10, I'd say it's at least a good eight and a half, maybe a nine out of 10 piece for a vintage Seiko. Mmm, lovely. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.